hey guys welcome to my channel my name is Marcy today I'm going to show you how to make yogurt at home without breaking the bank so without further ado let's get to it you will need milk the quantity of the milk will depend on how much yogurt you want to make in my case this is two and a half liters of milk I bought at the local ATM you have your spoons I have my wooden spoon and my plastic spoon You'll need yogurt. Since I'm making two flavors of yogurt, I have uh, vanilla yogurt and strawberry yogurt. You can buy any brand you want depending on your budget. And then you'll use this yogurt for culture. And then we have the essence. This is strawberry essence and uh, vanilla essence. You'll also need clean film which you'll wrap your, your yogurt in after you're making it. And then we we'll have the bowls in which we will make the yogurt. And an important point to note here is that you are not, I do not advise you to use metallic containers without in very thin yogurt and you wouldn't like that. So plastic, glass or ceramic is highly recommended. So now we'll put our milk to a boil. First thing. it's okay you can just use your sufuria your stainless sufuria for boiling it the important bit is when you start preparing the yogurt you will have to use the plastic or glass you can see it's boiling the bu it's already the bubbles are already forming so now it's ready we'll just take it off the heat and then let it cool down before we can continue the yogurt making process So now our milk is ready. Remember to check the temperature. You will wash your hands and then dip a finger. It should be just warm enough for you to put in your finger for around 10 seconds. That will be good. You don't want it to be too warm because again it will not work well with the culture. So now we go ahead and sieve the milk. After sieving our milk, we will transfer it into the plastic or glass container. In my case, I'm going to split it into two because I'm making two batches of yogurt. But if you're making one batch, one container is enough for that. Okay, so that's that. Now, we'll go in with our culture. We'll start with the vanilla yogurt. Shake it a bit. So now you want to give it a little stir. Remember, for two liters of yogurt, just 250 grams of yogurt culture will be enough. But I want, so I'm not going to use all of it. Just put that in. Put it in. Okay, so that should be enough. going to also put this in. So we're going to give it a stir. Make sure not to over stir it. You just want to incorporate the culture into the rest of the milk. Next, we'll go in with the strawberry culture. We're going to use all of it.
also going to stir this till the culture is nicely blended into the milk. What you want to do next is go in with your pencil and wrap it. You need it to be airtight. minute to unwrap this thing i don't know what it wants to do with its life anyway you want to wrap your bowl make sure it's covered well seal it airtight you don't want any germs getting into that and then um i'll just snip that off make sure it's well sealed I'll go in with another layer again just to make sure it's all sealed because they also don't have a lid but if you have a lid you can just use one layer and then top it up with your cell to the next one this time it was a lot easier if you ask me so yeah still same procedure we're going to cover it with the film my bowl appears to be a bit wider so we'll definitely go in with the other layer to make sure it's all sealed up nicely. Seems like this yogurt wants to be sealed up for a century. Yes, so up until this point, pretty much the yogurt is good to go. We just need to let it sit for 24 hours and it will be ready, 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 ready. And also remember, you can use part of this yogurt as culture for your next batch. So you don't need to go and buy some more culture yeah i think i'll have to go around one last time for it's good to go so it's proving to be a bit challenging but we got this So guys, up until this time, the yogurt is good to go now. So what we're going to do next is set it up where it will stay overnight. So now our yogurt is ready to be stored. So I'm going to store it in my kitchen. Um, store it there. Then I'll just cover it up lightly yeah so the yogurt is good to go for now we'll leave it here for 24 hours and then we'll come back to now flavor it and put the essence and just wrap everything up so see you so i'm back again guys it's slightly past 24 hours and our yogurt is ready i'm now going to remove it and put it in the bottles
at this point we are nearly done and occasionally you might see a watery liquid floating on your, on top of your yogurt but don't be alarmed that's just whey protein and it happens many times when you're making that yogurt so no need to worry about that i'll go in with my spoon to check at how the yogurt has turned out look at that so thick it's just how i wanted it it has turned out really good and i know the consistency will also be amazing I'm going in with my vanilla essence, one teaspoon. This will be enough for the quantity that I'm making. Remember, you'll add the essence in proportion to the quantity of yogurt that you're making. You'll mix it in nicely so that it's well incorporated into the yogurt. Just give it a nice stir and it smells really nice because of the essence. I'll now go in with my sugar. Remember the sugar is optional. If you want to have it without sugar, it will still be tasty. But in my case, I'm going to go in with three tablespoons of sugar. If you have a sweet tooth, you can add more. If you don't like it too sweet, you can definitely add less than I did. So we'll just stir it, stir in the sugar. You want to stir it until it completely dissolves. You need to be patient with it because you need to stir until you can no longer feel the particles on the bottom of the bowl. So just be patient with it. I'm sure it won't take long. Give it a nice stir until we're good to go. It's dissolving now. It's almost ready. I'll go in with my strawberry essence for my strawberry yogurt. Again, one teaspoon is enough. Mm, it smells really nice. I'll stir it in. Remember the strawberry yogurt was a bit less than the vanilla one. Look at that consistency, guys. So nice. So for this one, I'm not going to add any sugar. That's how I prefer it. And it still turned out very tasty look at that very good yogurt at home on a budget i'm now going to finish that and bottle it off camera i'll be back there we have it guys our vanilla and strawberry yogurt already as you can see it was very simple and very budget friendly you can try this at home and let me know in the comment section how it turned out a tip I'd like to leave you with is instead of buying the two flavors of yogurt, you can buy the natural yogurt, which will give you a wide range of flavors to work with when you're making the yogurt. You'll just buy that, divide it into the various portions, and work your flavors around that. So thank you once again for watching up to this point. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up subscribe and share. I'll be releasing a new video every week around home organization, cleaning, cooking, lifestyle, and everything in between. So be sure to tag your friends along. Until the next video, see you.